Psychic Witch Talk, hosted by Christine Rossi and Diana Rachel. Christine Rossi reads at the Mystic Dream in Walnut Creek, California, and Diana Rachel runs Tarot Real Psychic Life Coaching in San Francisco, California. I don't have a problem with um, them asking the question or varied versions of the question um, in the same session and using different cards. Um, I don't have an issue with that because if you're using, let's say, an Oracle deck and a Tarot deck and another Oracle deck, okay, mm -hmm. it, the verbiage around it or the perspective um, it gives you just another facet of the situation. I do know that mm -hmm. there are readers out there that go, absolutely not. You ask one time, you get your reading, you're done. You don't go back and you keep asking. I don't have a problem with doing that either, uh, partly because the future does have shifting points. And sometimes when I'm reading for my clients, they will make decisions about what they're going to do while they're reading with me. And it will change the course of their outcomes. Uh, one thing that I started doing with really complicated situations is I, I shamelessly combine um, my divination media all the time. And so I will do a, do a reading where I do four points that are fixed that are from Lenormand because Lenormand is about fixed points. Like these are the things that are solid that don't move unless you cut them down. And then I will do tarot for the, the, the movable points within it. So, and I have found that sometimes the Lenormand will shift based on their decisions too, if they're at a point where they're willing to sacrifice something to make a change. Right. A lot of the time I will ask a question of, um, we'll just say uh, the outcome is, eh, <laughs> whatever that yeah. may be, whether it's moving your job or love or money and, you know, mm -hmm. um, but the outcome is like, meh. It's, it's not exciting and it's not dynamic, but it's okay. And I will let yeah. them know. Um, and they're like, oh, that's it, huh? And I go, yeah, but we can ask, what do I need to bring in to have a better outcome? And then mm -hmm. we'll draw cards on that. And then I will explain this is um, in relationship to, like, hang hey, man, looking at it from a different perspective, obviously. Yeah. A tower card. Uh, well tear it down and rebuild from a stronger foundation oh okay and so then we ask we're on the assumption that we're do you're going to do this what does your outcome look like and then draw a card um it's always an improvement almost 90 percent at least on occasion you know you'll <laughs> you'll get the five of uh you know chalices or something um and mm -hmm. you know I go, okay, we're still missing stuff <laughs> for a better outcome. We're, we're, not, we're not getting something. We're missing something. Yeah. So, and I will do the what's missing or what's this about and pull cards on that. Or sometimes if it's an eh outcome, I will ask my client, how do you want to get there? Oh, good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and this, this is part of like the life coaching stuff too, is how do you want to get there? And sometimes they just won't know, and that's where the real conversation needs to be. And so, and that's sometimes where I have to pull in resources to say, okay, you know, I need to back out of the reading and actually do some research for you. But, you know, this way we've got an idea for, okay, let's get there. Or are you just doing this because you're afraid of this other thing that might be a better outcome for you? Oh, I like that one a lot. I like that one a so, lot. Yeah, like fear is an interesting bridge. And yes, it's rickety as all get out, but it's usually the one you got to cross. <laughs> I, unfortunately or fortunately, you know, um, I do go with the, um, um, I'm great at spouting great wisdom, but not always following it. Um, fear is false evidence appearing real. Yes. Yes, that's a big one. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> because whoever is dealing with their fear and they're looking at a huge monster, uh, a hurricane, they're looking at, you know, their whole life crumbling before them. It's like whatever their biggest fear is, betrayal, um, mm -hmm. success. 
Yeah, the, the cognitive term for that is confirmation bias. It's a big problem on the internet these days too. But it's something that we all have is where we look for things to support what we believe to be true rather than looking, letting the facts lead us to a different, possibly more objective truth. Yeah. So this is where someone is wrong on the internet comes from. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. You mean not everything that I read on the internet is true? <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it as just gospel truth. I thought that... Have you heard about the dangers of dihydrogen monoxide? <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I thought that Facebook was a news media. <laughs> oh, God. Just a so disclaimer. Why destroy the country when you can destroy the world? <laughs> For more ways to connect to Christine or Diana, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash psychic witch talk or go to psychicwitchtalk.com to join our mailing list and find out about psychic fairs and other events where diana and christine will be reading and teaching book christine by calling 925-933-2342 or by logging on to themysticdream.com she is available every Monday and Wednesday in Walnut Creek, California. Book Diana at Diana Rachel Psychic Life Coaching by going to dianarachel.com. Don't forget the J between the A and the C or by texting 415-508-3202. All appointments must be made a minimum of 24 hours in advance. Appointments are available by Skype phone and in person for those in the San Francisco Bay Area. Pick up your copy of Diana's book and Diagram Prize nominee, Divorcing a Real Witch for Pagans and the People that Used to Love Them, available on Amazon today in Kindle and Softcover.